My name is Max Carter Oberstone. I'm the vice president of the San Francisco Police Commission. Been on the commission for a little bit more than two years. Uh, the police commission is a volunteer citizen oversight body that's responsible for setting policy for the police department and adjudicating officer discipline cases. DGO 9.07 is a traffic enforcement policy that basically has two main goals. First is to uh, de-emphasize certain types of traffic stops for low level violations. These stops are proven not to result in um, reducing or preventing crime. Um, and the first benefit is that that allows officers to focus their time on strategies that do stop and prevent crime uh, and that do keep us safe. Uh, the second piece of this though is that these stops for low level infractions are disproportionately carried out against people of color. For example, black people are over 10 times more likely to be stopped for an equipment violation in San Francisco. And we have a moral and constitutional obligation to treat every person equally under the law. And that's another big reason why this policy is so important. I talk a lot to the men in the 52 week better than intervention class. And they have talked about how it really harms them and keeps them sort of on edge um, because they're, they're on probation. And when they get stopped by the police, what happens is they're stopping them for a minor violation, such as something's hanging in the mirror. Once you're stopped by the police and they run your plates and they run your name, they find that you're on probation and now they have, I guess, a right, if that's the right word, to search your car. What I would want people to know though, and, and um, all across the country, is that this policy is a win-win for everyone because uh, folks that are concerned about public safety and crime rates, this policy will redirect officers away from the failed policy of pretext stops, which was doing a, a terrible job at uh, preventing and solving crime, and allow us to take all those resources and put it towards things that we know um, are actually uh, effective. Um, and for folks that are concerned about racial justice and racial disparities in our criminal justice system, this is also a huge win because um, interactions in traffic and pedestrian stops, those are the most likely ways that people interact with law enforcement. And so if we can reduce racial disparities in those interactions, it will go a huge way towards uh, making policing more equitable um, and preventing some of the, the worst downstream effects from traffic stops uh, that we've seen across this country. So Glide has been working with the Coalition to End Bias Stops for over two years, and we actually had an initial success with this policy when it was passed by the Police Commission in January of 2023. And the policy then went into uh, a negotiation process and it has received its final passage this past February, February 2024. So we're really excited that after over two years of organizing, hearing from the community, engaging in listening sessions, coming out um, to give public comment, share our voice, that we were able to see passage of this policy. It's really um, it's, a, it's part of the legacy of Glide and of Reverend Cecil Williams and Janice Mercatani to empower community members to speak their truths and to lift up their voices to make sure that those in positions of power and those in government are hearing them. So we're really glad that we were able to um, partner with other community members, um, with Glide programs and staff to bring out people about this, this really important issue.